Hey guys, Brian with WorkshopAddict.com and if you are in the market for a new zero turn mower, I want you to stay tuned because we're going to go through two of Toro's new models that they have out for 2020. Over here we have the Toro Time Cutter that has been somewhat redesigned. It's more ergonomical but still has a lot of that pro DNA that Toro puts through all their mowers. On the other side we have the Toro Titan which is going to be I believe a new model. They have a Titan HD but this is also a residential mower that is a little bit of a step up. What we're going to do here is go completely through my experiences using both of these machines. We're going to show you a lot of different things that each machine offers and we're going to kind of dive in deep to what you should expect and it probably will give you an excellent idea of what machine you will want and what options you will want on that machine if you're in the market. So first I want to say that all the stuff that we did for videoing is in October to November. And what happened this year here in Michigan is we got a lot of water so the grass got really tall and everything was really wet. So in a lot of cases we either had to cut twice or when you're watching us cut you're just seeing us cut an immense amount of grass that's really wet. So the cut quality here was absolutely amazing for what we were working with and since when we've had them out in different time periods the cut quality is actually very very impressive. This is not my first rodeo with zero turns and in fact I'm used to commercial models so I'm very very impressed with both of their cut qualities. To start out when you look at these two models the difference that you see is the tires. The tires are a little bit larger and wider on the Titan but you still have very nice wider tires on the time cutter and with that said those tires will help you float not pack down your dirt and move around but what stands out on the time cutter are the aluminum caster hubs and you're going to wonder why because this is where you want your weight up front because most of the weight is in the back with the engine and the mid portion has the deck this model is designed so that if you are a newbie to zero turns and you run this guy into something at its max speed of seven and a half miles an hour that this hub will actually break saving you the expense of bending the frame and totaling out this machine complete. So all you would do is take out a couple bolts here, remove this hub, put in a new one and move on. Now that was a different idea from what I've seen in a lot of other mowers, but I think after you get used to it and you get the confidence in these, that if one of these were to break, it's saving you the expense of buying a new mower. So I think that's a great option and very innovative for an entry line zero turn. If you move up to the Titan, you'll see you have two and a half by two and a half inch caster arms. These are fully steel. You lose that aluminum option. Uh, don't hit anything with these. These are incredibly beefy and they match the rest of the frame going back. The Time Cutter has a 10 gauge steel frame and a 10 gauge steel deck. Now you have a leading reinforced edge that goes completely around the full front of this deck and it is very, very sturdy. You have anti-scalp wheels that are adjustable up and down, and we can get into this a little bit more later, but you have a deck lift and your pin detents for the mowing levels that's easily accessible right here. This model does have a plastic chute on it that is spring-loaded, and if you get some of the smaller decks, you can actually get the spindle covers to be quick detach. The ones on here are screws and I believe that's because it's a 60 inch model. When you move up to the Titan you have a little bit more beefy frame but you still have a very similar deck but the leading edge here on this deck is bull nosed. So that's a little bit more strong. It's sitting down there ready to hop up over top of any stumps and keep you from damaging this deck. You have the same anti-scalp wheels that will move up and down. And on this model, you have more of a rubber chute. So if you were to hit a tree with this, it's just going to flex itself out of the way. On the Titan, you have a little bit larger foot placement system for raising the deck and a few more options for your deck height. Now our Titan has the MyRide system on it and this MyRide system is available both on the Titan and the Time Cutter. They are slightly different in the way they are positioned. 
on each model, but with that said, they do the exact same thing and are both adjustable for your firmness. I have these set up all the way to four. Basically, you just have a coilover shock here with about three inches of suspension. This system completely allows the operator to ride independent of the frame in the tires. So the frame, deck, and tires are all consistently running over the same ground, giving you a completely level cut. Whereas if you had suspension on the front tires, that would allow the deck to move up and down and give you a bit more wavy cut. Now, if you're looking at either one of these mowers, I would highly recommend that you check out the MyRide system. It is very easy to get used to. The only thing that I noticed that was a little bit different is that my body would be moving up and down, but these levers for your speed forward and turning are connected to the frame. Realistically, after the first time, it was something you didn't even notice, but you could mow for hours on this thing and get into some pretty significant bumps and you had no issues. The seat that's on both of these machines was very, very comfortable and I had no issues getting on and off this machine and riding it for a very long time. It was something that I became to look forward to because you can get some seats on some of these different models that are very, very thin and not comfortable. And there is no doubt that in this, these seats made these machines very comfortable even without the suspension. Something that's worth noting, I am 6'4 and a little bit of a bigger guy, so I left the seat back. On the Titan, you can adjust the seat with this simple lever. On the time cutter, it's a little bit more of a manual operation that you would set prior to. You'll lift the seat, loosen these tabs, and everything will slide. Then you could set it back, check it out. You can actually leave it loose, decide where you want it, and then tighten everything up. It works. It's better than not having an adjustable seat. It's just not as on the fly as the Titan. Both the Titan and the Time Cutter are available with Kawasaki or Toro engines. Now this is the Time Cutter and it's very simple to maintain. You can pull out your air filter, replace it, clean the foam, put it back in place, drop this and go. Now both of them have very easy oil changes. This is a bit better view of the oil drain hose that's on the Titan, very similar to the Time Cutter. You just pull this guy off lay it down back and you can drain your oil into a container and very easily take it to be recycled. Back here is easy access to the oil filter and your oil fill. One of the main differences that you will find on the engines between the Time Cutter and the Titan is the air filter. This is more of a commercial Donaldson type oil filter where you can let the dust out down here and then easily get inside to gain access to a high quality filter. Now it's not as easy as what you would find on the time cutter, but with that said, it's a little bit more of a high quality commercial type unit. Getting on and off the time cutter is simple with this step through front end. When you're on the machine, it's very comfortable. Seats all the way back, again, I'm 6'4", I can pull these levers in, do anything I want without my legs being in the way. Some big differences between the way the time cutter and the Titan work, and here's the gist. Your parking brakes are when these handles are out. So the brakes are on at this machine, you can start it at this place, you can get off it, let it idle if it needs to be. Uh, this is your brakes. You have your lever to move the deck up and down. And this pin will go into positions from one inch up to four and a half in half inch increments. It's super easy to adjust and super easy to use. When I first looked at it, I was like, that's weird, a pin. Uh, I kind of expected something else, but that pin is very sturdy. It's not gonna break and you're not gonna lose it. So I liked that. Something else that's underneath here is a smart speed control system. So you can slow this down in its slowest speed to four miles an hour, move it up to five and a half in its tow mode. So you can tow a lawn roller or a fertilizer spreader, or you can put it in its fast mode. That makes a big difference in this. While these both share the same transmissions, 
uh, when you can drop this guy down into slow speed or a trimming mode, it makes it very, very easy for even a new person to control this machine. You can get around fire hydrants, you can get around trees, you can do anything you want without the fear of having this machine kind of be jerky at all. It gives you a lot of confidence as a driver of this machine and it's something that I first thought, eh, who really needs it? And, but the more I had it, the more I used it, and the more I liked it. So that is something that I really found on this machine that was well worth it. You do have a little place to store items if you find tennis balls, bottles, anything you might find in your yard, you can throw them in this little storage area. Again, this is still very comfortable. You have a cup holder on your left hand side with the gas fill over there, and you also have an hour meter, your throttle, key, PTO lever, and choke on your right hand side. This unit is exactly like most commercial units that I've been on. It was the most familiar to me when I got on it and rode it, and it seemed to be the easiest. The Titan is also easy to get on with the step that's on the deck. The deck is attached a little bit more sturdy, so you can stand on the deck or use that as a boot scraper to get any dirt or grass off. Again, we are floating on this machine, which could be the same as on the time cutter. Differences here is that you have a parking brake. It's underneath my left hand leg here. You pull that in and push it down. That releases this unit and allows it to move. So if your parking brake is on and you pull these handles into move, it will shut off the machine. Totally different than what I'm used to on a lot of machines and it took a little bit for me to kind of get in gear with that because I'm used to the brakes turning off when you pull these handles in. So you are starting to mow, you're going to take off your parking brake, pull these handles in, pull the PTO switch, which is in the same side. You're, you're basically your hour meter, your throttle, choke, key and PTO are all to your right hand side. Very easy to access. It's simple. The only thing that threw me on here, I guess, is that parking brake that's on the other side. Again, on this model, you have your cup and fuel fill on your left hand side. Because of the my ride here, there's really no storage. Something that I can get around to have a little bit more comfy ride. Both of the 60 inch Time Cutter and Titan models have the Hydro Gear ZT 2800 drives. However, the Titan hydrostats include charge pumps. These charge pumps are basically used to keep the hydraulic pumps filled with fluid and protect the hydraulic system during operation. They also help with air infiltration and contaminated oil. Both units have filters that are replaceable on each of the drives. The hydrostats in both products have shock valves to protect the hydraulic system during pressure spikes, such as hitting a curb. The Titan product has a larger drive tires in a higher top speed, and that combined with the charge pumps is why the low speed drivability of the Titan is a little bit different than the time cutter. That's where that smart speed control system really allows you some smooth operation on the time cutter, whereas you can easily lock one tire up on the Titan if you're making a turn. You have to learn to feather those controls and I found that's very similar to what some of the higher end commercial models have. But as you get up in the higher end commercial models, you'll see a change of hydraulic pumps where they move away from the hydro gear and get a little bit more over to a direct larger hydraulic pump with higher volume. Either way, both work great. Uh, the speed is not something that I noticed a big difference on, especially while mowing, because eight and a half miles an hour while mowing is you're cooking through your lawn. What I think makes the big difference again as I go back to is the my ride. I feel like I could go a little bit faster on a rough lawn with the my ride, but again, that could apply to both models. Unfortunately, we only have a sample size of one of each, so that my ride system was on the Titan, and it gave it a little bit more comfort. Now the blade tip speed on the time cutter is 18,330 feet per minute and on the Titan is 18,908 feet per minute. So you have a little bit faster blade cutting speed on the Titan and I think that really helps it rip through some of this nasty lawn that we're cutting. The grass is thick, the grass is new, and the grass is wet. So when you're seeing the Titan roll through, 
It's throwing the grass, but it's not doing a great job of just cutting and giving you that perfect cut. And you cannot expect any mower to give you a perfect cut in the situation that we are putting this lawnmower through. It is doing excellent compared to some of our other mowers that we tested on this same lawn. And as we came back for some of our second and third cuts in that to try to move that grass and get it to just dissipate better, the, the mower shined more and more and more. If you had kept up with this lawn like you should have, you would never see that. Now you're gonna see some of the time cutter footage where we're actually cutting this lawn a second time. This is very late in the season and we're trying to get this lawn down to two inches so it can winter well. So there are some different costs and different values that you're gonna get with each of these machines. But let me assure you that both of them cut grass is good as any commercial mower that I've seen. Uh, the quality that's inside them and the comfort that's there is absolutely amazing. Go with the MyRide. If you're looking at this and you have a large lawn, I think you're gonna absolutely love that MyRide suspension, be it on the Time Cutter or the Titan. If you have a little bit larger yard, you might wanna move up to the Titan just because you get a little bit wider tires, a little bit more stability, but the reality is here, both are excellent machines, both use some of the same similar parts with them, and I think that you're gonna enjoy either one. If you guys have any questions on this, any of my uses, any of the video that you see, I would greatly appreciate it. Just leave that down below. And again, give us a like in this video, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.